for some years, right? Before my daughter was born. When I think about it, he was our grocery before my daughter was born. <laughs> right? So even just thinking about the process, if you think about how old she is, how much she's learned in that period of time, where she is now, the height, the size, she's not a little baby that has to be swaddled anymore. It's, he's been our grand chief for a period of time and offered to the Lord, all because of himself, his time, his day, his schedule, his worship, coming in, opening the door, setting up the computer, getting to some of the things of beautification, right? Just the idea of what it takes to prepare. And so my thought was just revolving again on that unity, the unity of Allah and man. Everybody's doing this within the more science temple of America, mm. who's focused on the right goal. Mm. So I'm like, I see the footprints. So it was pretty clearly cut. You had, I saw what our prophet did. You know, I know our prophet was divinely prepared. We saw, we know what Brother Marcus Garvey did to help clean up the place so that our prophet come and do what he needs to do. And I'm like, we see what Brother C. Kirkman Bay, Brother F. Nelson Bay. We see that it's still here. I wasn't there for it. But I see that it's still here, so they must have done something right. You know, I know some people whose families sell the houses mm -hmm. after Bram of Dawn. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? It's like, oh, well, we're yeah. going to see the highest market value, and it's out of here. But no, right. these ones have continued to pave the way. And what do I mean by pave the way? Making sure that the road doesn't get too bumpy, the weeds aren't growing up. They keep it clean and trimmed so that we're able to walk in and kind of see clearly. And I just wanted to make sure we extended those thoughts and those honors, but they also allow room for growth within all. I was looking, I came in and, you know, I was sitting here to myself, thinking to myself, we have so many more inside of temple number 34 that have skills. I know some of you take it for granted, but every one of you can read. In New York City, our average reading level is about the third grade, third to fourth, which is why that game show, Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, is so popular <laughs> and was able to stream for a period of time. You have whole types of you have teachers coming out here. I can do it. <laughs> the point in that thought is to recognize the gifts that revolve around you. You have been letters that are around you, people you might not have had any opportunity to engage and interact with <laughs> had it not been for walking through the Morris Science Temple of America. Awesome. Some hands you might not have pressed. I just want to say praise Allah. <laughs> As I look here, I'm going to check this time. It's 8.54. I'm going to turn our attention. I'm thinking of chapter 10 and chapter 34. Mm. <laughs> and both were, were touched on. And so I think I'm going to go with chapter 10. It's on page 16, which comes for us into a seven. And as our chairman demonstrated, the front of the Holy Quran gets read first. Our opening chairman, front of the Holy Quran gets read first, page three. Mm -hmm. And then we head on over to page 16. The divine instruction from the Holy Prophet. Chapter, not chapter X, for those who might be reading it the first time, right? Not the chapter X, chapter 10, Roman numerals. Jesus spake on the unity of Allah and man to the Hindus. Mm -hmm. Benares is the sacred city of the Brahms. And in Benares, Jesus taught you, taught Udraka was his host. Hmm. Udraka made a feast in honor of his guests. And many high-born Hindu priests and scribes were there. So think about that. Those who connect to God, speak to God, have that kind of spiritual connection. And then those who write the messages down. Mm -hmm. hmm. Those who came. So that uh, was a big thing if you if you get it. It's kind of like paparazzi's outside. Mm -hmm. they're, they're here and they're watching them. It's just those are the, the people. And it goes, Jesus said to them with much to much delight, mm -hmm. I speak to you concerning life, the brotherhood of life. So life has a brotherhood, life. Not just our, our physical self, but life has a brotherhood. The universal Allah is one. Mm. Yet, he is more than one. Mm. All things are one. By the sweet breath of Allah, all life is bound in one. That's right. So if you touch a fiber of a living thing, you send a thrill from the center to the out of bounds of life. My brother C. Ferguson, my brother chairman, reminds me of that particular verse whenever I hear it, because that was something that he just used to pull off the top of the head. 
when he's talking, when he's talking about love is the only savior of the world and just remembering. So even in accidents, if you notice that there's something injured, something hurt, something damaged, do what you can to fill in the gaps with love and with truth. Now, we're not saying that just the carnal love, this is love divine that the prophet is speaking of, on the level of understanding the brotherhood of life, understanding the greater purpose, and understanding that we're all connected. Now it goes, when you and when you crush beneath your foot the meanest worm, you shake the throne of Allah and cause the sword of life to tremble in its sheath. The birds sing out its song for men, mm. and men vibrate in unison to help it sing. I'm going to um, stop at that instruction. I'm just going to say, I hope that as even the time goes on, we'll continue to get to hear from some of our mourners. You know, we'll just continue to even hear from our brother, Brother Peterville. If Brother I would, it comes out. We'll still be able to hear from them, and, you know, hear from our brothers and sisters every once in a while and just hear the thoughts and the messages that Allah has given to them. Because in the gifts of the understanding of the treasures of Allah, and he appointed to everyone. That's right. Not just some, but everyone, his portion, in which measures seem as good on to himself. And that was a capital H. That's right. And so I just want to um, thank our chairman for calling on me. Thank our grand, our, our grand chief, Brother Lou Osiris Bill, for opening up for us. Our, thank you, our present grand chief, for taking on the toll of just even coming out, taking the trip, and making it happen, being here early. The more than see him, but he got some sweat around his face. Why? He was in here cleaning up, sweat, sweeping, clearing the steps, making, trying to beautify the temple in the way that he could when he walked into these doors. So I just want to give honors to all of you working in public and in private, give honors to all of our new sheep. And our Sheikah, uh, who are here, and also even our, our sisters and brothers who are assisting in this movement. And with that, I say peace. Peace. What a fellowship. What a joy. Peace. 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 certain things to look at, certain things to check out, go to the desert, my son, observe the young stalk of the wilderness, then speak to our heart, you know, using nature, 
because we cannot be. You know, we need, to, we need to feel the meaning of what you said and feel from the center to the bottom, out of the bottom of life. And make us conscious about what, you know, when we do certain things and what we should not do. So praise Allah. I'd like to thank her. <laughs> it's all the blessing to hear how she <laughs> put things together. Praise Allah. Yeah. That's what I say. We all, like you said, we all have a gift. And that's how we touch our people with these different gifts that we have. You know, they may not even hear you, but they hear, hear, hear another person. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Some, some open up their heart. Don't do the window their heart. Open up their mind. Let them see another another side of life. At this time, I'd like to call the last speaker good evening. Before I bring you forward, please give me all this attention. I'd like to bring you the Grand King of Pentecost, number 34, Brother W. Clinton Bay, after his song. It's Will soon decay, will soon decay. This soul of mine, this soul of mine, will find me a place. Will find me singing, singing, singing. I'm building me a home. I'm building me a home. If you see me singing, singing, singing. I'll build me a home. I'll build me a home. This earthly house, this earthly house, will soon decay. Will soon decay. And this soul of mine, and this soul of mine, will find me a place. Will find me a place. It's Psalm 1. Rise and I give praise and break out Allah, the author and the creator and the governor of the world. They say man plan, but Allah is the best of plans. That's right. Wow. Yeah. I see the shout. Thank you, Ronnie, the prophet Noble Swali. Divine for all the prophets from Adam to Zoriaski. Mm -hmm. Divine all the harbingers, Elijah and John and Marcus Garvey. Divine to all the brothers and sisters of the light. Divine to all the leaders of the more science of America, past, present, and future, to our grand chief, Brother R. Jones Bay, to the assistant, Brother Hopkins Bay. Divine to, uh, Grand Governor of the State of New York, his assistant. <laughs> you want to? Yeah. Uh, Grand Chief of the President, Mr. E. Jeremy Bay. I give honor to um, our former Grand Chief of the White Sox, right? White Sox Seal. I give honor to all members. I give honor to everything pertaining to Islam. I'm very tired. I'm oh. very tired. It's, it's been very draining in a good way. You know, I drove to the convention very peaceful. Uh, driving is very therapeutic for me. You know, a lot of people, oh, I want to drive with you. Nah, I don't really want no one in the car with me. <laughs> it's me, me and my tone. Me and my tone, me, I don't know the property. <laughs> I got a road camel, if you don't know. I got a little road camel, little stuffed camel, indoor, rides with me. <laughs> I took my time and I got to the convention. It was a Friday, a holy day. And the moors was the moors were fired. The moors were fired up. Um, and it was just every day feeling a certain way. And I drove home. And I got home and came to the temple on Sunday after the convention. I had to go to my brother's house. He passed away. And Got home late, real late. Had to go to work. I had to come back to the temple. Tired, tired. When I got here, and it's just okay. something about being in the temple. You know, it made me think about. You ever watch the movies of like the making of a master? You know, the person is looking. He wants to. He wants to find his way, and he finally finds some master, and he's waiting for these instructions. He's like, go out and cut some bamboo down. I'm like what? Go, go sweep the hallway. Like I came, I'm looking. Like what, what is that all about? I, I think about the, the master of masters. The one who sits at the right hand throne of Allah. And he would be happy to, to sit at the door. Well, 
you know, when I was growing up, I used to write down WHC number one. My brother-in-law, the Curtis Bay, Grand Form Grand Street, Temple 21, came in and he was like, well, if you're number one, what does that make me? And I was like, if you're lucky, number two. <laughs> I mean, like, it ain't, it ain't, it, it's simple to me. I'm number one out of eight billion people. I'm number one. So you might as well get in line. And that's how I thought. And the ego, if you let it go, I mean, you could be like a Hitler. You could be like, you know, like you're going to do whatever you want. You just know no restraints. You know? And then the prophet let me know that that was a foe. Wow. It's not something to ride with. Right. That foe's going to take you down the wrong road. You, you thinking a gun to your head, and you thinking all of that, but it's the vanity. I remember one day, Brother Moore Hill, he used to tell a simple story, right? Yeah. He talked about, I don't know if you remember, yeah. he talked about this man who's saving up to get a Rolex. Mm. Because that Rolex, when people see that Rolex, you be on a bus, the train, a car, you be having that. Hey, you know what that means when you see that? Mm. Saved up all his money. And he's telling the story. He had a certain way of telling. The man finally got that Rolex. He was just so happy with that Rolex. <laughs> then the man got in an accident. And his arm got cut off. <laughs> and he's in the ambulance and his arm is cut off. And he's asking the people, where's his Rolex? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't worried about his arm. <laughs> you know, wow. there's something in basketball and sports. <laughs> Called the Six Man Award. Six Man. Huh. Not the most valuable player. Sometimes not even an all star. The Six Man. See, when I first got on the high school team, I was all excited. They came out and announced and said, playing guard. See, I was on the bench. Playing guard, here comes your boy. He's the captain of the point guard. You know what I mean? He stands out there and they all cheer for him. You're sitting there, you're like, oh. And here comes the second man, and they only announced the first five. Mm. And what about the other seven on the team? Mm. And you're sitting there, and they go that back. They go that ego. You know, sometimes in sports, it's not the team that has the best players that win. Mm -hmm. It's the players that have the most chemistry. Mm. But you know what it takes to be the sixth man? To win. To do it for the good of the team, mm -hmm. that's to take yourself out the equation. Mm -hmm. So, nah, that's hard to do. So, you know what Allah does to you? Because you're trying to reach the highest heights. He says, All right, you want to reach the highest height? Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you to the lowest low first. Mm -hmm. So, you recognize how I work. And you recognize that you need to, in your own self, Handle certain business. And you're not going to learn. You don't learn that lesson unless it happens. Because your ego prevents you from learning the lesson. Because it's telling you all these different things until there's a point where he, ha, 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 and the ego got, got no answer. And you're sitting there looking at my hand. And then, and then you're like, you know what? I'm going to do what my eyes start saying. I've been low, I've been high, and I've been low again. Like a roller coaster. Wow. Brother said on the conference call, I'm trying to be discreet, but when you try to work the lesson, that don't mean everyone else is. Wow. He was like, Yeah, I called you a liar to your face. <laughs> and when it happened, if you were there, Walt from New York jumped up. Everybody seen it. So the Hopkins say, grab me by my shoulder. <laughs> the chase deal, the chairman said, no more, no. And just put me in check. Because I'm ready to react a certain way. So now you're three years in the temple. I'm 38. Imagine yourself 35 years from now. When the brother talked about the baton, right? The baton is you run fast as you can with it. When you go start going slow, you got to that baton up. But if you can still run bad, you keep running. If you LeBron James and it's 19 years in, you still run bad. No, so you keep the baton, bro. You LeBron James. Don't, don't give it to me. I am I'm not even as good as an 18-year 
veteran LeBron James, but if, if he can still run like that, let him run with it. But I mean, look what's going on in politics. I'm watching the president of the United States. You can feel him losing. Yeah. He's losing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm losing it. Yeah. Well, Ferguson, he, he, I'm beating on it. We know what's going on more. Yeah. We all get to that point. Just long. You get to that point. Uh, but I feel like I ran a good race. <laughs> you know, I feel like like Ellen was alone, you know, like you're seeing the fruits, like the brother's happy. Yeah. Let me give honor to the Grand Sheep. Who I started to see. You know, I met this, when the brother was saying those were with Jesus 2,000 years ago, or with, with the prophet today, well, the people that was with Jesus and with the prophet is here today. Wow. And me and Brother Cyrus have been doing work ever since he met me. He met me, Brother Ferguson, and said, yo, this is the more. He said, I heard you had something about a coloring book. How can I help you? Now, when you see that coloring book, that's when Brother Cyrus still coming into my life. It was something for 20-something years. I had a dream. I had a thought. But well, Ferguson you know, picked up on my dream. He kept my dream alive and then shared my dream with Brother Cyrus Hill, who helped me produce my dream. I love the best of planets. I asked them, you know, when a mayor is not the mayor no more, when the president's not the president no more, they still call him the mayor. They still call him president. He was into the state of a grand sheep. He's going to always be a grand sheep for me. Wow. There's some people that still, when I just became assistant chairman, some people still been calling me chairman for over 10 years. Wow. Brother chairman. <laughs> you, brother chairman. <laughs> That's right. You know, a few years ago, it was a Super Bowl game. San Francisco and Baltimore. And the two coaches were brothers. Paul Ball, brother. How do you think they felt going to the game? <laughs> I want to win. And you brother, uh, I want to win. <laughs> and we played the game, somebody got to lose. But I'm sure if they were brothers, even the brother that had won had the empathy feeling for his brother that didn't win the game. And the brother that lost had to have some love for his brother that just won the Super Bowl. Right? Because they're brothers. That's how life is. Me and the brother have been up and down, agree and disagree. But I love that more. And I feel that more loves me. I watched him raise his son. He watched me become a, 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 a get a new wife, become a grandfather. He's helped me when I was down. I've helped him when he was down. It's about a brotherhood. It's about the team. So when we talk about a foundation, I think about Sister German Bay. I think about Brother Cyrus Hill. I think about Sister Bimper Bay. I think about Brother Cyrus Hill and Brother Evans Bay. That was the foundation of this coming up out of the fire, the phoenix rising back up, Temple Number 34, after Brother Bolden Bay and other elder moors. Sister German Bay held the thought. The grand governor built with the thought. Brother Cyrus Hill, the dream came into the temple. Wow. So every step along this way, this brother's been here along the way. And you know what? I know the brother's feeling a certain way. You know how you tell people, I know what you, I know how I know how you feel? When you don't, you don't tell a woman that lost a baby, I know how you feel, unless you're a woman that lost a baby. Okay? You don't tell someone you know how it feels when they lost their mama if you didn't lose your mama. You can say, I feel bad for you, but I don't know how you feel. Right? But when you feel in a certain way, you know, the world seems to make you focus a certain way on things. Mm -hmm. But when I was sitting there and I was thinking, the way I was planning, I'm, I'm, I'm working, I'm working, I'm not going to keep track of time. You know, because my assistant says, what time she going to be here? So I'm thinking when I see her, that's going to be the time. But anyway. <laughs> and then also, but Cyrus will show up. There's no chairman, no sister chairman. I, I still got my t shirt on, jeans on. I'm like, it's all more. I need to go ahead and open up the meeting. And you know, when he's opening up the meeting, you know, I was sitting there, I was like, does he know the history? Because he he makes a mean chairman. Mm -hmm. You see? And I know a chairman from Temple 71 that rose up to be the grand chief of the Morris Time Temple America. But R. Jones Bay was the chairman of the temple. Wow. Wow. Well, the grand chief boys talk about different ones. You don't know how our plans are planned. 
Right. You know, you think Job understood? You think Job was praising Allah? Oh, you're the best of plan. Took my wife, took my money, took all. He was just holding on his faith. Yeah, you know that Allah's good. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Kick a man when it's down. I don't know what's going on, but you don't see the future. You don't see the lesson. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? She always goes to the gym. Mm -hmm. I, I just can't imagine, you know, because I go to the gym and it starts being hurting. Okay, it's time to stop. <laughs> You know how to say no pain, no gain? I get to the pain part, and I'm like, I'm good. But you got to drive past the pain. No. No. I pray for him. Because he's my brother. And we're working on the same thing, the same program. You see? And so when, when the coach comes and says, you know what? He said, listen, Wolf. I know you want to be so excited about what, what I need you to do is you to do this. Do this for me. Yeah, and make the team better. No, it don't mean you're not as good as his father. You are. You should be a bona fide star. But see, I need a certain man who could handle a certain job. And that's what Allah's doing. He's training us for all kinds of jobs. Sometimes it's a nice job. I'm a plumber. You know, I like the nice job with the brand new pipe. You know, with the clay dirt. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to do stoppages. And so if my toilet stopped up, I'm like, oh, but you're a plumber. I don't know. I don't want that part. <laughs> you got to take it all. But I hope the brother don't mind if I call him the grand sheik. I hope, you know, you know, I think we have a, 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 so much possibilities. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to keep the more too too long. I'm just, I'm just happy to do the work. I'm uh, happy to be in the temple. Um, I give honor to everything, but sorry to give honor to everything, but Ferguson gave honor to I'm I'm extremely happy with all the more. I'm learning the love instead of hate. Praise Allah. You know, the brother, the brother told, and, and the brother, the brother checked me too. I said, well, I forgive all the ones. You know, well, if you forgive me, then you wouldn't bring it up. And then and I was getting ready to bust around me. I don't know why. I, I changed my mind. You know, I really don't forgive you, but I'm going to try harder. You know what I mean? And then bust around me came in. And before I could say anything, he like started speaking. I was like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Praise Allah. Yeah, just praise Allah. And I started thinking. Well, good thing I wasn't moderating the call. <laughs> you have already moderated, I might not have had that moment. And then I said, I was the best of time. Praise Allah. No. But praise Allah. Islam was, can the Moors online say Islam is so, we're so quiet? I, I, I want some background on Islam. Can you all Islam. 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 What about some other Moors? They know other Islam? Islam. 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 Since the second, 10 to 12 Islam. Oh, 10 to 12 Islam. Islamism, Islamism, more. Islam, more. You know, I remember the first time we was having the Zoom meeting and everything. I was so excited because I was living in Maryland. I couldn't make that many meetings. Mm -hmm. And after the meeting, I went to my wife. I said, honey, I was just in Brooklyn at the meeting. I had a big old smile on my face and everything. Because I made my meeting. I, get, I felt like it was there. So, you know what I'm saying? And so, you know, as technology comes, like the sister talked about the typewriter and stuff like that. You know, one, one day someone's gonna come up here and join the temple, and the secretary's gonna push a button, a little plastic card gonna pop out, that's in your car with the picture on it, the chip in it, all the information when they join, who to pay, and everything. Right. And the older mother's gonna have a fit. Yeah, they have a shit. fit. <laughs> well, you know, the, this is the nationality card we've been using for 100 years. I said, well, we've been using 100 years, and now we're going to the next 100 years. Wow. You know, it's a mentality. You know what I'm saying? And, and as I, I just, can you, I can just see the, the prophet tweeting. Mm. Right? Uh, I can see the problem tweaking. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Drew Ali. You know what I'm saying? I can see Marcus Barbie on Facebook Live. The home here, man, we got my 30,000 people. We marching down Madison Avenue, Fifth Avenue, up the hall. Mm. You don't think they would have used all those communication ways? Uh, definitely. It's to communicate, whether it's through a drum, through a pigeon, That's right. through writing. That's How do you think the marathon started? Gave you a message, you ran as, hard, as far as you could, 20 something miles. You gave it to the other guy, he ran 20 something miles, he ran 20, and then 200 miles away, he got the message to whoever got the message. That's right. <laughs> Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah.
we, we can't live your life. That's obvious. No one can step in your shoes, but I appreciate you, man. I Praise really Allah. do. Praise you, Allah. You, you, know, you might not feel it, but I do. And there's so much work we still have to do. That's fine. So much work to build a better world. You and all these other moments. That's and right. I'm so happy here at 734 that this is what we work for. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sometimes you raise your child, you know, look at Blaze. Every time I see him, I mean, you see him every day along the way. When you see him, and I think about that picture I have that little brother sitting on that camel over there at Lafayette or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then he comes in and almost looking me in the eye, driving a car or something. I'm like, wow. And, and this is like the temple. I mean, we had some things. I mean, I wish Brother Stencil Martin Stencil here was here with the wife and the children. I wish Sister Adam Bay was here with Brother Adam Bay. I wish Sister Biffle Bay was here with Sister German Bay. Sister Pathmore was here. You know, I, I wish they was all here. But I lost the best of plans. So we just keep on moving through. We just keep on moving. We keep on doing what we got to do. So praise Allah. Praise Allah. Um, divine instructions from the Holy Prophet. Chapter 24, obedience of children towards their father. Mm. Instruction one. From the secrets of Allah, mm. let man learn wisdom and apply to himself the instructions they give. Mm. Peace. Hey. Hey. Uh, There's a little bit of time. Time. Memories and like this is always been an honor working with all the moors because I'm telling you, it's something that's so genuine. You can't, you know, especially true and faithful moors who stand firm for a law and the prophet. No matter what the obstacle, what the situation, what the condition we face, we here. We here to work. Grant, you want me to read the one? Well, I read the one from the one that's in the Moorish literature. Because the one, and both of them all, said, Divine wonder by the Prophet Noble Giwawi. Prophet warns our Muslim governor for the read proclamation at each meeting. I hereby inform all members that they must end all radical agitation speeches while at work in their homes on the street. We have a peace and that destruction. Stop flashing your cause of your pain to cause of confusion. Remember your cause to your salvation. Fail obey these orders will be of severe consequence. We have love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and when these principles are violated, justice must then take its course. Any member, group of members who holds malicious feelings towards the temple or the prophet, provided the divine covenant of the Moorish movement, will receive their reward from the law for their unjust deeds. All true Moors will and must obey the law as laid out to them by the prophet. 
If they lose confidence in their property, because she turned their car and button, she plainly interpreted the affairs and returned to the state where I, the prophet, found you. This is a holy and divine movement founded by the prophet Nobu Juali. That the prophet is not right, the temple is not right. The prophet therefore sending out the divine plea to all Moorish Americans that they do their part in protecting the prophet and the temple. There's an everlasting movement funded by the prophet through the will of Allah to redeem his people from their sinful ways by order of prophet Noble Du Ali. Peace. 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 I'm gonna yeah. follow right behind Brother Smithfield and stick oh, yeah. to every direction. Uh, Brother, I'm gonna give you the you wanna give me the basket. Yeah, you got Uncle Brother Smithfield, he's gonna show you what to do with the basket. Okay. Okay. Take the basket. Thank yeah. you. One of you want? You can take one. Yeah. All right, perfect. There you go. There you go. And then we can go. Yeah, we can go around. All right. Right now, don't roll up on the brother's pocket. Yeah, so you got to move back a little bit. Don't pray to Allah. Donations are my choice. So, gotta stay. You know what? Those guys are facing something new. Destination is the donation. Praise Allah, Lord. <laughs> oh boy, praise a lot more for, for allowing us to come together and worship together, pray together as we find it. Thank you. 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 Islam. Islam. Thank you. Islam. Islam. Happy Holy Day, more. Happy Holy Day. Uh, first, I want to rise and give praise to Allah and um, the Father of the Universe. And I want to give high honors to the Holy Prophet, Prophet Noble Drew Ali. I give honor to all uh, the officials and leaders of the Moorish Science Temple of America, national, state, and local levels. Islam Moors, um, I give honor to all of the Moors um, that are listening and uh, who will also be listening to this uh, recording in the future. I wanna give honor to my family and to um, Praise Allah. I want to give honors as well to everything that uh, um, the uh, to Grand Chief, to the to Brother White Sarasil, who opened the meeting, gave honors to. Praise Allah. Um, Praise I Allah. am currently under the weather, so please bear with me as I. That's all right. Um, make all right. Praise Allah. Um, Praise Allah. Um, also, so many emotions right now. So much going on. So much of the vibration. So praise Allah. Um, I That's not, so you want to wait until Sunday, maybe, and if you feel a little better, your throat's a little um, better by then. Do you want to maybe just read over everything by Sunday? Oh no, mm -mm. praise a lot. I am here. I am. I'm on, and I'm working, and so I will do my best and um, just yeah. push praise through. A praise a lot. Praise a lot. Uh, with regard to a few of the announcements that I have made previously, I wanted to just repeat that um, we were anticipating celebrating Charter Day with Temple 21, um, which is on the 8th of October. However, we're not, uh, it hasn't been decided yet, or at least I'm not sure yet whether they will be 
having an in-person uh, celebration or a Zoom uh, celebration. If that's been decided, please uh, let me know. Otherwise, at this moment, just know that their charter day is on the 8th. And we are waiting to know whether we will be uh, joining them in person or if we'll be doing it by Zoom. Please stand by for that announcement. Uh, the other announcement that I wanted to uh, also make, um, you've heard the Moors already mentioning, you know, convention, uh, praise a lot to everything and everyone. And, and just, it goes, so much goes into the convention. So much goes into planning a convention. Mm -hmm. And I want to give honors to every single um, Moor that did the work. Um, even if you couldn't attend and you attended the Zoom meetings or the online meetings, uh, praise Allah. Many of us, you know, we were there. Um, praise we Allah. Were, we were there in spirit, praise Allah. And then there are those of us who were able to travel to Chicago for the first time uh, to participate. And that was such an honor. And praise, uh, Allah. praise Allah for that. Uh, that being said, <laughs> I wanted to announce the birthday uh, that just passed for Brother um, Kid Bay, Brother, I believe Brother M. Kid Bay, his son, Brother K. Kid Bay, Brother Khalid Kid Bay turned 10 um, on, I want to say the 26th or the 27th of October. Praise years ago. Praise Allah. And I just wanted to make sure uh, he was on the call on Thursday, I believe. Um, and it was just such an amazing, just a blessing to have him on, to listen to his voice, to hear him, to have him present, and to know that um, the youth, the youth who are, um, that have, or um, in the movement, that are learning from the, the Moors at this time, are present and listening. And so with yes. that, um, I just wanted to wish him a very happy birthday. And um, I heard a, Sister Cecilia mentioned earlier about on October, I think she said the 13th and Morish Remembrance Day. I believe that we traveled to Philadelphia and we um, joined Temple 21 along with other, um, I'm sorry, Temple 11 along with all the other temples uh, mm -hmm. that travel down to um, do a, a walk in remembrance. Um, and that is forthcoming for the Moors that are interested in attending, please let us know. Uh, besides that, I just wanted to list the social media. And if you are on social media and you want to access the Moore Science Temple of America, uh, Temple, 30, Temple number 34, you can find us on Facebook. Uh, we, are, we have a public page and a private page. You can also find, uh, we have a Facebook messenger chat a lot of times the uh, dial-in information, announcements, um, we'll place that information there. So please, if you can log on there. Uh, we will announce the other social media pages that we have, uh, uh, Instagram and um, others, as we um, continue to get more details um, about them as they're, they're, they're still up and coming. Um, I also, um, there's an announcement and it's just escaping me right now. And I know I want to say it, but I can't remember it. Oh, wait, did I just lose it? Islam, I will, uh, our cash app is MSTA34. Uh, if you want to send in donations, praise Allah. Please remember our dear brother, um, brother J. Florence Eel, who, um, he came sick um, and he uh, got all his information, but he uh, fell sick during convention and currently hospitalized. Every day at 7 p.m., we are asking that you stop and um, you can say a prayer, send a positive thought, uh, you know, a, vibra a healing vibration uh, for the brother and his family. The Moors have been meeting, if you are not aware, the Moors. The officials um, have been meeting and, and working very hard to find ways to, uh, to assist Brother Florence Eel. He attended our charter day this summer. He was also at family day, praise a lot. And uh, I, just, I just remember seeing a big smile on his face, how warm he was, and he introduced himself to me. 
um, while I was serving in the kitchen uh, during charter day. And so I just wanted to remind the more at 7 p.m. You can put a reminder on your phone. Uh, please send a positive thought, not just for him, uh, his family, his wife. Um, I remember when my husband was going through surgery and um, your mind, it's everywhere. Uh, there's so many things that you have to do, so many things you want to think about and to have family and friends come in and just take over and handle those details so you can focus on your spouse. It's just, it's so important. And so I ask the Morse to remember to do so at 7 p.m. daily. Um, as the former grand chief mentioned, we're going to do this every day until the brother is home. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Praise Allah. Um, I'll turn this back over to the chairman. Hey, Islam, um, Brother Kundinabe, hand was raised on some. Islam, um, Brother Kundinabe. Yeah, Islam, um, Brother Chairman, can you tell Assistant Grand Sheik to give me a call? Praise Allah. All right. Heard you loud and clear. Wait until it closes, or you want me to do it now? Now would be nice. Islam um, also was announced, did another announcement in terms of our uh, sister Weaver Bay from. Uh, uh, September 35 and Hawkins Connect, they're having a memorial service on the 6th. So if more are able or want to, uh, you know, hopefully we try to get up there. Uh, Brother Reverend's been able to officiate their funeral. The also, Just want to read something also. They're going to be, you know, send you some of the moors. They're going to be, they're going to have, they're going to be honoring Dr. Matilda Shakur, Legacy in South Bronx Unite, granted the right to re reconstruct the old Lincoln Detox building. We have built, we are building a youth center, acupuncture clinic, and a museum to celebrate the unstern years of struggle. That's going to be 349 East 140th Street, September 